Okay, right, pose are in, and uh, this is the result. Here is the result from the poll that I put on the community page about two weeks ago and uh, quite a lot of you guys actually voted which is actually cool because uh, this is very very important for us to learn a little bit more about you guys and what sort of thing you like the most and we we'll continue to see more uh, so that's what the poll was about which one of our series is your favorite so far and over 75 percent of you guys enjoy the olympus and michael forthert review which is actually super cool super cool because this is what this channel is about michael forthert and olympus because i'm an olympus guy and i love everything about olympus and this channel was filmed and made with olympus gears right from the beginning so yeah so this is why this channel exists because of Olympus and I do have a very special relationship with Olympus UK so you're guaranteed to see all the latest stuff uh, from Olympus and uh, yeah it's going to be an exciting year in 2020 so yeah a little bit of a heads up for you guys and hint hint yeah and uh, yeah I get access to all of them so yeah make sure that you stay tuned for this channel so you can see all the yeah unannounced not unannounced <laughs> I can't say that I can't say that can I no all the announced products <laughs> Anyway, and secondly is the um, Photography 101 because uh, I'm actually super grateful that you guys actually enjoy uh, Photography 101 only because I personally create that series and to make you a better photographer um, Not only just on the practical level, but also mentally as well because you need to prepare yourself mentally as well as just having the practical skills um, To create a masterpiece you need everything, you know, you need your skills your cameras and yourself get that okay so then the next one is analog photography well uh, if you guys have been following our channel you probably know that I should film as well as digital so uh, even though that uh, I don't shoot uh, film or analog uh, commercially but I do film it uh, on my projects and stuff like that and also I'm a Lomo Amigo so I do test stuff for Lomography I get access to films and uh, so it's actually pretty cool that I continue to share that with you guys and also don't forget instant photography also something that I kind of cool I kind of like enjoying doing it as well uh, it's also part of analog so you'll continue seeing them in the analog photography review and also tutorials and then next one is accessories and I think accessory only four of you guys uh, want to see about them or favorite uh, because I think that you, you may consider this is not as important as camera and lenses but I think you might be wrong because those are the stuff that will enhance the photography and filmmaking so you do need things from time to time to help the camera out and uh, the camera and lenses can't do everything for instance filters is very important and critical for certain situations and the polarizing the UV filters everything are very important lighting also very good without light of course it's no photography or filmmaking and uh, so you need a lot of different lights different sources of light different type of light and uh, so yeah be sure that you understand that and make sure you watch our review for those as well and then uh, bags yeah you need to carry your camera with your bag so uh, yeah and as being a bag collector you know and then uh, you you know that I like my bags and uh, you're guaranteed to see more of those uh, yeah I'm a bit of a collector myself and uh, I like to support some of the smaller companies as well from time to time so yeah be sure to see more of those as well God, this light is horrible, man. Keep going up and down. I, I, cannot, I cannot bear that. Anyway, and uh, lastly is vlogs. And I'm a little bit disappointed. Only 2% of you guys want to see my vlog. It was created uh, for me to communicate with you guys on a more personal level. And, uh, but I know they may not be as interesting as the Michael Forth or Olympus review. But I was hoping that you know, I could talk to you guys a little bit more. And, uh, but if this is something that you guys don't want to see, and uh, I'll probably slow down a little bit or maybe reduce the number of it or frequency of it so you will see less of that uh, but quite often I have, to, I have to tell you that quite often I use my vlog as my testing ground for new gear so you may not actually know uh, just to give you a little bit of heads up and sometimes I actually test cameras some of the footage that you see in the video are actually new gears that I was testing so uh, 
let me know what your thoughts is and then see if you want to continue seeing some of my vlogs i move i may would do more but then um i definitely would slow down in terms of frequency because uh based on the poll you know and uh, it's not a popular uh series uh, so i may slow it down i may actually put that on my second channel in the future so yeah i do intend to open another channel up so we'll see but um anyway this is the results and this is what i want to share with you guys today in today's vlog yes <laughs> and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here or you just jump onto the olympus or michael forther bandwagon and uh, yeah uh, this is the place for you to enjoy uh, so make you a better photographer and also better video makers as well and uh, this is something i want to talk to you about you guys about so this channel i know it started off as a photography this is what red photography is about and then um, but as we started the channel, everything was filmed using the Eamon Mark II and the Michael Four Third platform. I want to showcase uh, what you can do with the video side as well, because now as a filmmaker myself, and uh, it's important that you know that this, there are two sides of Olympus now. The Olympus does push on the photography, which they already established and very good at it. But video is something that they would continue to pushing, and Panasonic are pretty good at that as well, and they are also Michael Four Third. So, they're very capable stuff and I would like to show you guys more about filmmaking and things like that and also for those who are maybe want to dip their toes into the water and then see what video making is all about in the Olympus world stay tuned for more uh, anyway so this is what I want to talk about today and don't forget yeah to put on the bell notification so you know when a new video is coming out until next time though I will see you soon bye for now